Welcome! In front of me I have CMF by Nothing Watch Pro and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the side button. Keep holding the button until you see the CMF logo on the screen. And after the watch turns on you may see the list of languages on the screen which basically means that we can select the language we want to use on our watch by scrolling up and down on the screen, find the language, select it and tap on the check mark. And after that you will see the QR code on the screen and you can scan it with the phone's camera to uh, basically direct you to the app you need to download uh, to pair the devices together. I'm just gonna open the app store on our iPhone and do it there but if you want to use QR code you can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my iPhone, check if I have internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once we do, both, do have both, we can continue. We can open the App Store. In the App Store, tap on Search, then tap on the search bar and type in CMF. And then uh, Watch. CMF Watch. Uh, I typed it wrong, my bad. Like this, C, like this, CMF Watch, and then tap on Search. And you should see this application on the list. Oh, my bad. Uh, right here. You should see the CMF Watch on the list of apps. Tap on it to select it. Then tap on the Get button to download and install it. I need to confirm that it's my account, so give me a couple seconds. Okay, and the application is downloading, so let's wait until it's done. And after the application is done downloading, you can tap on open to open it. In the app, you will see the login page. So basically we need to log in into a nothing account. If you don't have an account, you can use the button or the tap on the register button to make a new one, or you can use the sign in with Apple or sign in with Google to log in with the third party accounts if you want to. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap right here to enter the email address and password. Okay, after you enter the uh, email and password, you need to you need to check the box. Uh, sorry for that. I had to re uh, change the email. I had a mistake in there. So you need to check the box at the bottom of the screen, like that, and then you can tap on login. Uh, to log in. And after you log in, you will see a uh, couple pop-ups about permissions. You can allow them or deny them. For example, uh, location permission, Bluetooth permission. I recommend to allow it. This one is quite important. Uh, and next we have the ability to track the apps. I'm gonna da ask not to trap, track rather, my bad. And after the uh, permissions, are, are you you're done with the permissions, the pop-ups are gone, you should see the home page of the app. Now we can tap on device icon, tap on add device, and the apps will start searching for the nearby devices and it should detect your watch. You can tap on it, tap on the check mark, tap on pair, allow or deny the permission for the notifications. This is not required, but if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on the watch, allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. Then you can tap on try out, and you should see your CMF watch on the device page right here. Okay, and that's how you pair uh, this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.